Florence the Friendship Fairy. Magic Memory. Magical Memory. Chapter 1. Rachel Walker was staying with her best friend, Christy Tate. One day they looked through Christy's scrapbook, which was full of lovely things. Christy and Rachel had a special secret. They were friends with the fairies. The scrapbook reminds them of all the fun they had enjoyed together. I hope we have another fairy adventure soon, Christy whispered. They, then she frowned. There's an empty space here. I don't remember that, she said. Worse still, when Rachel turned the next page, she saw that one photo was damaged. Another one looked unfamiliar. I don't recognize her, said Rachel. She pointed to a picture of a pretty fairy. Before entering either, either girl could see, say, Another world, the fairy began to spark up. She flew straight up from the page. I'm Florence, the friendship fairy, she said. My magical memory book protects people's special memories. How lovely, said Chris. But I don't think the magic is working at the moment. Rachel held up the damaged scrapbook and Florence looked at it still. My memory book has been stolen by naughty couplings, she said. So your scrapbook is no longer magical protect? That's terrible, said Kirsty. Goblins have come here and messed up your book, Florence said. I must find them before they do more damage. Well, help, you promise. Just then, Kirsty's mom came into the room. She asked the girls to come to the village shop to buy some groceries. Flora had to hide in the scrapbook. A few minutes later, the girl head into the village with Florence. Rachel soon spotted something on the ground. That's a picture from my scrapbook, said Kirsty. The girls were walking through the park when they heard the sound of squabbling. They hid behind a bush. And saw three goblins marching along, pushing each other as they went. One of them was carrying a smart lucky book. That's my magic Mary book, whispered Florence. Why don't we make a memory book, said a small. It will be far better than this one. I've got lots of lovely dirt and weeds to put in it. We should, we should put in a photo of me reaping of the soapy fairy book. Another goblin. No! cried Flor, flying out from behind the bush. Don't do that! Go away, one. Of the goblin snapped. We are not letting a silly fairy enter. 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 Fair. Fair. The goblin sprang away. One of them still holding the magic memory book. I see red. All Florence treasure. We came to fall from the pit. 
They're ruining it. She cried. She slowed down to and waved her to make all the items very size and collect everything that had fallen out. The girls followed the goblins as fast as they could. The goblins kept banging into each other but didn't stop. How do we make them drop the book? Asked Florence. I know, said Pichu. Then she shouted at the bird, Look out! There are a hundred of fairies falling right behind you. They are going to cover you in beautiful pink sparkles and take a photo. And Kirsty, yuck! Run for it, cried the goblin. They were too silly to turn around and see that there was one fairy fluttering along beside Rachel and Kirsty. But the goblin carried the magic man book but didn't drop. As the girls had hopped, instead he clutched, clutched it even more tightly. The goblin dumped down a side street with Florence and the girls following closely behind them. Kirsty grinned when she saw the road was a dead end. Moments later, the goblins had their backs to the wall. The smallest one was still clocking the magic memory book. Why do you want my pink book anyway? Florence asked her. Would, wouldn't you uh, rather have a nice green one instead? Of course. Of course we would, said another girl. But we haven't got a green book, so we're having yours. Toklin stuck out his tongue at the girls. If we could find the perfect goblin memory book with a icky green cover, would you do a swap? Swap. 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 Did you ask? The girl looked softly. Could make you want that prickly beets and smooth touches. How do? Florence said, "I could even use special magics, so you could add." Your favorite smells, but only if you give my book back. Oh, could you make it smell like dirty feet? One ask Molly Mush Mouldly. Mushroom too, said I want blocked drinks, cried the third. Flower not, not. Is a deal, the goblin said. Do it! Florence waved her wand and an oozy green book appeared. The fairy gave it to the goblins in return for her book. Thanks, girls, she said to Kirsty and Rachel. I have to go now, but take a look in the shopping bag. As Florence vanished, Kirsty and Rachel in reached inside her mom's bag. She pulled out two invitations. Rachel, she cried, we're invited to a friendship party tomorrow. 
at the Fairyland Palace.